Honey, what's going on? I don't care. It's gross and unnatural, and I won't be a part of it. I'm going home. We'll talk after you leave it. Ugh, move. <laughs> Baby? Who was that awful woman? What happened? Your mother? Oh. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry. It's okay, baby. You're okay. <sighs> oh, honey. I'm sorry you had to experience that. I know it's not something you're used to as a human. I've learned to ignore it. <sighs> I know, baby. But it's not your fault. You're so sweet. You're not responsible for all the stupid people who can't see past what others look like. Can I tell you something? You're the reason I've been able to ignore them. All those people saying all those mean things. They used to be so loud. It was all I heard, just the negative things. But you've drowned them out. They're so quiet now, compared to you. You're so loving, so kind and gentle. You see me for me, and you embrace our differences. You make me feel good and happy to be me. I feel so confident in myself nowadays, and it's thanks to you for helping me see all those things that I've been told were wrong or bad. Those are just the things that make me, me. They make me unique. And I don't want to be anybody else anymore. Because of you, my love, I've learned to be able to see myself for what I am. A proud, beautiful, unique centaur. <sighs> I love you. I'm very lucky to have you. You're such a good person. You're kind and generous. Mm. You're smart and funny and attractive. Mm. You're so creative and passionate and talented. Mm. And you encourage me to be happy, to do what I love. You're the most supportive person in my life. You're my favorite person in the whole world. Mm. I love you. Mm. Mm. It's getting late, baby. Let's go to bed. You... Is this from you? What do you mean, what? I mean this hole in the wall. <laughs> you were really angry, huh? Hmm. Well, thank you for sticking up for me. Especially to your mom. I know that couldn't have been easy for you, baby. Family can be very tough to handle. You want to make them happy and make them proud. But when they're that kind of person, it just gets frustrating. You know they love you, but it's hard to see when they're so closed off to the things that bring you joy. My parents were hesitant about me going to my college, since it was majority human, but that's because they were worried about my safety and well-being. It's different for you, with this. Are you... were you close? <sighs> hmm. She's always been this way. I'm so sorry you had to grow up around that. 
I don't know how you turned out to be such a wonderful person. It's really remarkable. I mean, you've had to listen to that sort of thing your entire life. But you're one of the kindest, sweetest, most caring, empathetic, loving people I've ever met. You're a wonder, my love. you tonight. Here, lay back against me. And I'll just wrap this around us. Mm, like that. All warm and cozy, right? Now, we'll worry about the mess tomorrow. It was a stressful day for us both. Uh, work was work. <laughs> Fine for the most part. Just a lot of it. There was one kid who came in for the flu, but she was covered in bruises. We reported child services, but I worry, you know? I hate seeing that. Well, thank you. <sighs> there were a few good things today. Elamia came in today, car accident. Her scales were all torn up, and she had a piece of metal in her chest. We definitely thought she was gone, but by some miracle, we saved her. That was really nice to see. She should make a full recovery. Yeah, I'm glad we have the magic and medicine we do now, too. It's a lot easier to save people than it used to be, that's for sure. Hmm, but it is very tiring. <laughs> no, silly. I'm not trying to imply anything. I'll stay up with you for as long as you need. Mm. Although, we should sleep soon. Big day tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's our first day off together in a few weeks. I want to do something. <gasps> oh, we should go to the new amusement park that just opened up. Um... The one off of 12th Street. Yeah, I've heard the Ferris wheel is the first one in the city rated Humans Plus, so we could actually ride together. <laughs> Excuse you? No, I'm not afraid of... heights. <laughs> All right, fine. So I am a little scared of heights. But that's what you're here for, babe. Hmm... Oh, brunch sounds good, too. Hmm. We could go eat at the cellar. The weather is supposed to be really good tomorrow, and they have this beautiful open-air patio. And plus, their coffee's really good. Oh, caramel macchiato? The roast is so light, it's wonderful. You should try it. Oh, and we have to go to the library. One of my favorite authors is doing a book signing. Yeah, you read her book, right? <gasps> How could you? <laughs> no, but you really should read it. It's so well written. Did I tell you that my dad went to school with her? Yeah, I met her once. When we picked up dad from that 95-year reunion, she was so cool. <sighs> well, yeah, silly. You know how long-lived we are. Speaking of, my mom's birthday is coming up soon, and I really want to do something for her. Maybe you could meet them? I'd really like it. No, sweetheart. They're more open than your mom. I've already told them about you, and they're really excited to meet you. Uh, she'll be 144 in three weeks. <laughs> Thank you. That makes me so happy. I love you so much. Mm. 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 
Yeah, you're absolutely right. Time to sleep. Hmm. You don't mind if I play with your hair, right? <laughs> of course you don't. <sighs> I love your hair. It's very soft. <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> yeah, you can pet me too. I would like that a lot. Hmm. <laughs> mm, yeah, I can do that. I like it too. Good night, my love.